welcome back. This is Still Whiskey. I'm Vince. I'm Rich. I'm Devin. And uh, today we're gonna discover Ooh. all of there is to be discovered with the Bardstown Discovery Series. Series 11? 11. 11. 11. Let's get into it. All right. Here we go. All right, like Vince said, Discovery Series number 11. Let's uh, go. I've wanted to try a lot of the Barstown Discovery Series bottles. Um, I've been hesitant because the price tag is a little high on them, but I've heard this one is great. And for some reason it popped up in my feed. I saw it, I clicked it, I bought it, and then realized. <laughs> I saw it, I took it, I bought it. And then I was like, oh, good thing it's good. Um, so yeah, so this one comes in a blend of two Kentucky, distilleries that aren't named and then um, Bardstown Bourbon Com Company Kentucky. Yep. The youngest is 10 years. No, the youngest is six years in this one. Oh, interesting. The oldest is 13 years, but it's 73% of the 13 years. So oh, okay. you're getting almost three quarters of it is this 13 years. This is for information, but I'm getting nothing on the nose. Uh -uh. Oh my gosh. A lot of I mean, I'm talking about why can't someone else open it? Because you're holding the bottle. Take it away from me. <laughs> Take it away, take it away, I'll take it away. Take it you away talk about it. It's a good topper. You talk about it. Ooh. 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 And it's a screw top. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another little, series. Little heft to it. There's another series that um, <clears throat> Bardstown has. It's the Fusion series. That one typically has the younger of the whiskeys. Right. And not as high of proof. And not as good, probably. Yeah, probably not. I mean, I think they're still good. I think you have yeah. a Discovery series. Mm -hmm. You have a Fusion, don't you? Yep, I do. Or, sorry, I'm not a Fusion, yet. yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I think the complexity that they put into these is just different yeah. uh, compared to the others. And so... I do love the information. The fact that they give you the, the yep. three the different blends, yep. the, the three different mash bills, yep. the age statements, six year. Yep. So let this settle in, right? 73% of this bottle is 13 years old. Right? Yeah. That's that's pretty impressive, and only six percent is the younger yep. six year old. Yep. So, yeah. So it comes in an MSRP of one hundred and fifty. Um, I don't think the secondary was going too crazy high on the others. You might have. So it's probably just going to be about one. Yeah. I mean, you might see up to one seventy five when it first came out because basically, like a lot of places are selling out of it, and then they come back in and things think, like that. I so. think that they. I like their. Like it's it's. Uh, I mean, it's different. But I like it. The square bottle. The square bottle. It's it's unique in the way that like a you know, Penelope is. You can look at it and you know it's a bar sound bottle. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. And I like that. I think it's cool. Me too. Um, I have a couple of them. Um, you've got probably a couple of them. I, I don't have any of them. I've got. I have one. Any of these? This is my first bar sound. I only have one. I have another one we need to do at some point. All right. So what are we smelling there. on it? <sighs> oh, a little fruity. God, I gotta be honest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just snorted it. Let's get it right in there. And, um, no, it's a, it's a little fruity. Uh, yeah. What's the proof on this? You're a little fruity. Oh, wow. It's 118. <laughs> All right. It's 118. It does not. Mm. 118? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was one. Nope. Dang. It, uh, oh, there's yeah. not a lot of ethanol on that. Yeah. It's no. more fruit oh. forward um, dark fruits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. I like the I like the nose on that a lot. Maybe a little vanilla in there, like just the sweetness of it. <clears throat> Could be the fruits as well. Alright. Mm -hmm. While they're tasting, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, let us know in the comments what you think. Ooh. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Why? Because you don't want to miss out on this content. This bottle, but also a lot of other bottles coming our way um, here real soon. So what are you guys getting on on this? Uh, it's good. Very good. I like this. Mm -hmm. It's full. It's very full. Um, oh, the proof comes through more on the palate than it did on the nose. Um, a little bit more uh, dry oak, um, almost leathery. Um, the fruit's still there, but the, the fruit's there on the on the. the it just coats your the, mouth. The mid really well. And back palate. Yeah. Um, get more those, more get like those. a toffee coming through a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like that brown, like you can call it toffee, you can call it caramel, you can, it's that brown sugared mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something about it though that's like, um, <sighs> I 
It was one day at 7-Eleven. <laughs> so, so he hasn't actually, done that in a while. So, he hasn't done so, that in a while. Okay, he's more refined now. Yeah. We've moved no, up, so, like, so, moved so, up the world. So, Kroger. So, uh, okay, so here's the thing. If you're sitting at the beach in the hot sun and, and like you're, like in my mind, I'm at, in Cabo and I'm in the hot sun and the, the, our server comes and he's like, hey, I know you like bourbon. And he passes me one of these on the rocks, which I don't drink on the rocks, but he passes me on because it's like hot. Mm. And I drink this and I'm like, thank you for giving me this rather than a pina colada. Oh, wow. Because it's, it's, cool. it's sweeter. It's or? got a little sweetie, okay. like kind it of. It does. It does fruit. have that sweetness. Yeah. Like. Especially on the nose. Mm -hmm. This is. But this it's is, very subtle. It's, it's not overbearing. But the flavor on this is, is I think, quite robust. I think you, you said it well, that it's a good mouth coat. Um, mm -hmm. I like this. I like this a lot. There's, there's quite a bit going on here. So I'm trying to it's take a it candied, apart. It's a candied, there's a candied element that you get in a cocktail, mm. a really good cocktail that you get here, but it's not, but it's not a cocktail. I think that's where mm. my whole Cabo grip. I'm a big fan. I like that a lot. Yeah. No, it's definitely complex. Like, it reminds me a lot of the Russell 13. Oh, really? The, huh. the darkness of the Russell 13. So Your bottle, not mine. Yep. So the... There's a difference. Yeah. So, like, <clears throat> they only call out themselves as one of the blends at the 6%. They don't so name, there's two... They don't name the other ones. Yeah, so there's two oh, other distilleries that they're putting into this. Are they Kentucky distilleries? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you think of like some of the higher, Where's the ones that are going to have the age oh, like that, like... It's really good. Like, it's a good blend of all um, of them. Like, I'm... It is different. So, here's, here's, there's a lot going on in this bottle. So, on the back end, um, the fruit kind of dissipates into, into, for me, tobacco mm -hmm. and a little bit of leather. Almost like a smokiness on the finish. Um, I don't know if you guys are getting that. Um, I don't but in the what front, it, what's that? I'm struggling with that. And then, but for me on the front end, it's more blackberry pie, um, summer day type stuff. Um, this yeah. is very good. This is a very good whiskey. Yeah, no, it's good. It's hard to like, the blend is just hard to pick out specific notes for me. Yep. And I'm not sure. I agree. Why that is with this, but like, I'm, I'm not mad about the flavors that it is coming. Not it's hard just to point, pick those specifically out, but it's, it's, you have very, to just keep robust. drinking it to find out. There's, yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's just pour some more. Yeah. Let's just keep um, drinking. But no, no, I do, I do think there's, there's a lot going on there. And then, and then again, I really like the proof point. Yeah. Um, yeah. 118. That's delicious. I'm not mad about it. Yeah. Let's give it some. Yeah. Let's do some grades. All right. So experience. Why don't you go Again, first, Rich? Purely experience, nothing to do with, with the price. Um, I would probably give this a uh, B plus. Okay. I think it is better than just a great pour. I think it's way more complex yeah. than just a great pour. Um, this this is A minus territory for sure. Yeah. Uh, for, for me on just experience. How yeah. About you? Um, I'm a B plus, closer to a B than an A minus. Oh, interesting. Um, but more than a B. For sure. More, definitely better than a B. Definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna go A. It's just, a, it is, I mean like, knowing like other ones, knowing the blend that's in there, like it, it's a tough one to beat. Like, yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. It's yeah. a good blend. And the age on it, to do the age well with the blending, like, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a good one. I'm, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Uh, yeah. What about value at $150 MSRP? Uh, what's your value grade? Yeah. Um, I think for the majority of the age that's in there, I'd mm -hmm. give it just a, I'd say probably like B minus, B minus C plus. I think it's a, for the age and knowing where bourbon prices are at right now, it's, yeah, it's fair. Like, Isn't I mean, that sad? Yeah, I know. That's just that, yeah. Like, that's just a recalibration yeah. of where bourbon prices have yeah. gone. When one fifty is a fair deal, like that's, that's yeah. That's what I'm saying, yeah. right? But that's just a, us recalibrating to yeah. where the market's gone, and you just go, yeah. oh, this is just yeah. kind of fairly that's normal kind of, nowadays. Yeah. 
So yeah, so I'd be at a B. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm at a B minus. And and the thing that I will say is that there are other brands who are producing very very good bourbons and they're keeping their prices where mm. they're keeping their prices down. That's true. And Buffalo Trace, for example. For, exactly. Buffalo Trace are are producing some great whiskeys and keeping uh, their price. And solid. I will say this about on Discover Series is I'm pretty sure they've always been right around 150. Oh really? They might have been like 125 and they've gone up to 150, but yeah. like for the different series. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I'm gonna go B minus on yeah. the value. So it's not like they're jumping crazy high, like yeah. you know, yeah. other things we've seen. Yeah. I would give this a C, meaning I would do it one time. Yeah. yeah. I would I would pay the 150 to have it on my shelf yeah. one time. Yeah. Um, and we've heard this is one of the better series. Mm -hmm. it's like very we haven't good. tried some of the others, and so if I paid the same price for a series that wasn't as good as this, that would be a that'd tough be, one. That'd oh, be tough. for sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But even the more I drink this, like there's a lot it's of so, it. yeah, it's, it's a lot of, coming, yeah. And again, that proof really comes through in a yep. really good way, really yep. balanced. Yep. Yep. Um, anyway, hey, still whiskey. Still whiskey. I, 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 the, the bottle has got whiskey in it. Hey, thanks for watching. We love you guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Yep. And uh, tell us what you think. We'll see you next time. Yeah. See you later. We love you.